Hello and welcome back. So let's fix the email already exists problem. The others are proper validations. So we're going to leave those out. Let me try the adding some numbers here on the names, maybe adding some space between them like this. And let's try that. Let me save changes. And as you can see, first name can only have spaces without letters. So the validation is working just fine. So what we need, the only concern we should have is this one. It says um, uh, email already exists. So let's try and fix this one. So with this one, what we would do is we'll deal with the edit validate function. Now this one should understand that um, we are editing a profile. So there's already a user that has uh, of a particular ID that contains this email that we're using here. So what we'll do is we'll put two uh, inputs here. The first one is the, the data. The second one is the ID so that we can use that in the comparison. So back to the user uh, thingy here. Now this requires two items. So we'll put ID there like so. Okay, so I will copy this ID here. And there are things that like email, when we are trying to check where, okay, uh, we should make sure that we are checking where, um, where the email is not this one. So what I would do is we don't actually have a uh, not in the in the where clause. How to create a not equal to? We can complicate the function if we try to add that there as well. But it can be added. So instead of trying to do this, let's do it a different way. Instead, we're going to use a. I guess we are back to using an actual query in this case. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's see here. Okay, so the advantage is that uh, the where clause returns. Um, let me confirm that in a second. So it does return all the. Um, all the uh, matches, right? So what we would do, because I want to avoid writing a query here by all means. So what I would do is, I'll do this. I'm just going to loop through the result of uh, this one. So I'm going to say uh, results here is equal to, and then let's check that. So if the results are true, we'll still come here. But what we'll do is we'll go through the results and say for each results as result. Okay, so in here we just check to see if the ID is equal to the ID that we have at the top there. So I'm just going to say if any of these, then we'll put an error. So we'll say if ID is equal to, oh wait, if ID is not equal to result, um, wait, what are we getting here? Are we getting objects or what? I always forget what we are getting from here. So we are using the query function, so we are getting objects. Okay, so if I say results, um, result ID, so if this is not the same, then we have an error. So I'm going to get that and put it here. Okay, like I said, if there's only one line in an if statement, you can write it like this and it still works just fine as long as uh, it doesn't confuse you later when you come back. So we'll go for each. So for as long as any of the results has an ID that is not equal to the ID of the current user, 
then we have a problem. So that should work just like that. So let's try again and refresh the page. We shouldn't see the email not valid error anymore. Okay, that worked like a charm. All right, so with that in mind, we have everything we need and we can try to save actual stuff. So here I'll just try www.twitter.com. Let's see if that's regarded as a valid uh, link. So it still says not valid. So I guess it wants HTTP in there. And so let's save that. Okay, so now it's quiet because of HTTP, probably HTTPS. Let's do the same thing for our Facebook and let's put that there. Go Facebook. We can actually put the same link and it will work. So, but let's just be thorough and uh, LinkedIn. Alrighty then, let's try to save and uh, everything is good. Phone number is not valid. But if we remove it completely, it won't complain. Oh, wait, it's complaining of an empty. Okay, so that's a problem right there. Uh, phone number should be optional and it's not. So, oh, my bad. You know, I put this on the wrong thing. Sorry about that. So this should come out of here. So cut this and let's put it right here. I don't know what I was thinking here. So here I'm supposed to put the if not empty, and then phone number. So phone, great, that should work. So let's try that. And it shouldn't complain about the phone, but if I type something that isn't valid, then it will complain. Okay, so that's working good as well. Okay, so let me try that paste so that was accepted but if i add one more number here it shouldn't accept it and as you can see it didn't okay so everything is working fine let's remove our numbers from here let's change mary to let's try putting a space in mary and see if that will complain as well okay so that complained that's good let's try to not put a space Let's just save it like that and see uh, my company. This is me and this is my bio. I just want to see if, um, uh, if these things will uh, save at all. Okay, so let's save without complaints and everything saved as intended. But we are not showing the user that we've saved anything. So in the spirit of uh, uh, putting messages, what we'll do is let's go back to, let me close this. Let's go back to uh, admin and right here where we will move this uh, uh, image thingy. Uh, out of here uh, wait a minute yeah we'll move it to a function a bit later so what I want to do is once I finish saving which is right here before doing that let's save a message and let's say uh, profile saved success fully like so great now once we save, we need a way to read this, right? So let's make sure it's there for the reading. So in the includes here, we have a header that has exactly that. Or do we? Wait a minute. Is it the navigation? I think it's the navigation probably. Wait a minute. No, actually, we didn't add any of this. We added this to the login page. So let me find that stuff. Okay, so there it is. Message copy. Let's add this to our profile page or admin section so that we can send messages. Header. And let's go 
right after i think right at the bottom here where the content starts so after main right here and let's paste so boom 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 okie dokie that should do the trick so let me save again and see if i get a message this time okay profile saved successfully all right so this is good now what we need is to use ajax to send this so we can upload this image and then on top of that we need to reduce the size of the image as well so let's do those things next and once we are done with those we're going to use the same code for the rest of this because most of it is quite similar Alrighty then, I'll see you in the next video.